What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we got some more NCAA 06 with the Prime U Red Hawks. Prime U is 2-2 two and two in conference and 3-4 and four overall and surprisingly enough South Carolina is worse than us man. So hopefully we can get a win here at home. We're coming off of an embarrassing loss versus the Georgia Bulldogs. In our last episode we played Mississippi State and we played the Bulldogs and we beat Mississippi State but then we took an L versus Georgia. I want to take some time out just to talk real quick. I always feel like the NCAA 6 subscribers that subscribe for NCAA 6, obviously, are my biggest supporters and most consistent supporters and stuff of that nature. And I want to reward you guys because this channel has always kind of been hit or miss with what you're going to get on each and every day. Some of my guys want through the years. Some people want other things. But for me, I want to reward the people that have been the most loyal to me. And that has been you guys that have been rocking with me with the NCAA 06. So I think... For the first time ever on this channel, I'm going to be focusing on like one thing and one thing solely, and that will possibly be NCAA 06. In uh, the past, I've done, you know, Marshawn Lynch versus Reggie Bush, Mike Vick versus Lamar Jackson. I want to kind of bring those back into the fold, maybe do those on the weekend. Um, I also want to keep Prime U going. I, I want to do many, many, many seasons with Prime U. I also have been itching to do a option dynasty, so I do want to do that in Somebody suggested bringing back the Marcus Mariota thing, and I did not delete that file. I still have it, so I think I might do that as well and keep that series going. And then when he's done, do another campus legend and see if he can't win somebody at Heisman. Probably on the defensive side of the ball just to change it up. And I also want to do a regular dynasty with a school that's not good, has never been good, may never ever be good. You know what I mean? And bring, bring that program up to prominence and then maybe change it up and go to a new team. Because in this game, they do have coach firing on. I usually turn it off. But SAU, it was on. And I almost did get fired. If y'all remember that, I almost did get fired. And then I came back. And yeah, long story short, I didn't get fired, but I almost did. Anyway, so I'm thinking about making this channel strictly NCAA 06. I wanted to drop that news in an actual video, not do like a channel update, because most people don't watch the updates anyway. So I just want to let you guys know that's my plan. You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But let's finally get to the gameplay, shall we? Anyways, we got to pick my man Christian Kemp. He got a pick. He fumbled it, but we recovered it. We up by, well, not up by seven. It's seven to two. We're going to try this field goal. It was third and long. We connected the dots, picked up a little bit of something, something, but then we came back and missed the field goal. So my man Benjamin Walden, second team SEC, he balling. Y'all see him. So we get off the field on defense. We're back on the field on offense. Give the ball to Mr. Anderson. He's going to pick up six. Give the ball to Mr. Anderson again, and he's doing work. So one thing that I have done is I'm changing the playbooks every single time. Now, I'm going with schools that I know are past happy schools, SMU, T uh, Texas Tech, but I'm not going to be using my custom play because that's where we get all the repetitive plays and stuff like that. So I'm trying to change it up. I'm thinking of the viewer. All right. Give me a thumbs up for that. Anyways, let's continue. Turner looking downfield. And that's going to be straight to Magruder. <laughs> Throw me the alley. Anyways, man, that is going to be an end to that drive and an end to the first half. So we jump into the third quarter. Still a 7-2 ball game, man. If this was a score of the World Series, that would be pretty entertaining, but it's not. It's a football game. Anyways, Turner, he's going to take it himself. He gets molly to the ground. So Turner going to take a shot to Young. He spins that thing, and it's complete. We are on the move again. Looking downfield is Turner. Turner going to let that thing loose to Darcy. Yo, man, we connecting the dots, and we looking pretty fresh out here today. We're going to pitch that thing to Anderson. Makes one man miss and picks up a gain of about five maybe six so it's second down looking downfield is turning letting it go and it's picked Williams is there for the interception now if you do like some other games I will be playing other games on my second channel that's sports too not really in anything else besides sports I'm a junkie anyways we get a pick by Christian Kemp let's go Christian Kemp pick number two. Oh, link to my second channel in the description I'm done I'm sorry Anderson he takes it himself we still have the lead surprisingly enough he makes one man miss, then gets bottled up, but he did get a couple of yards. So it's second down. Looking downfield is Turner, letting that thing fly, and it's going to be intercepted. That was not my fault, all right? And that really wasn't even Turner's fault either. I right, check out the replay. It's going to hit Dorsey right in his hands. 
Look at that. Come on, Dorsey. I'm counting on you, baby. So Fry letting that thing go. Johnson makes the catch. And that's a touchdown saving tackle right there. He could have got ghost. The Palmer, the tailback. He is getting ghost. You ain't going to see him no more. Touchdown South Kakalaki. And those Gamecocks, they are going to take the lead. They're going to go for two to make it a three-point game. And they do that. So it's three-point game for South Carolina. Seven to ten is the score. Turner going up top to Scott. Making things happen. Getting busy with it. Getting jiggy with it. So Turner looking downfield. We're going to find Hudson. And Hudson, he's going to make the catch move. Those chains. Let's go. Second down and ten to give us to Mr. Anderson. And Mr. Anderson, he's going to pick up a couple. Third down and seven. Turner looking, rolling out. Firing that thing over the middle, but it's going to fall incomplete. We're going to go for it. We ain't no suckers. Fourth down and seven. Going to find Scott Deshaun. Scott coming through in the clutch. Big time catch. Third down and ten. Going to throw a perfect pass to the end zone. And Deshaun Scott brings it in, man. He's balling today. I said he is balling today. So I'm definitely excited for the channel and what we can do with this NCAA 06 greatness, if you know what I mean, baby. Anyways, let's get back to the action. Charles, he's going to make the catch. That's going to pick up the first down. Second down and 10. Benjamin Walden gets in there for another set. His second set of the ball game, to be exact. Third down and 16. Fry with time. Let's this one go. And that's going to be batted away by Duncan, my man Duncan making plays so we take back over and Anderson fumbles the football we are in a situation where we got to milk the clock so it's third down South Carolina's down to the last time out run the ball heck no you just saw what happened so we're gonna go to Mr. Reliable Deshaun Scott makes the catch he got hurt but he's gonna be A-OK -okay. and that is going to do it for the ball game we get the win it wasn't pretty it was kind of ugly but a win is a win so, I th I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm not going to set it in stone, but I'm thinking about making these double headers from here on out. Maybe when we start up my option school, which will also be a credit school, we'll do double headers with that as well. And we might rotate Prime U with that series, if that's what you guys want to see. Um, when it comes to the other NCAA 06 stuff, it'll probably just be one game per episode. So when we bring back Marcus Mariota, we're probably just going to do one game. Per episode for that if we do a, a regular school you know what I mean probably do the same thing there as well uh, but for prime you and for the other school that I've, I think I've already decided what school is gonna be just don't want to mention it just yet we are probably gonna do the same thing there where it's gonna be double headers anyways though man we recruited a receiver he came to town for that game he liked what he saw man we throwing the ball we spinning that rock he's like he wants to be a part of it he's six six bruh He's 6'6", six, six, runs a, a 4'3", has a 4'42 vertical leap, bruh. I mean, that's big time. That's Chad Johnson SAU type numbers. I might put him at tight end. You never know. Anyways, here goes the rest of the top 25. Look at Alaska Tech doing work. SAU's a top five. Top, top five? Was it top five? I think they are ranked number four. So they're a top five team as well. And did y'all see that Purdue beat Ohio State when Ohio State was the number two team in the country? This game be predicting the future, even though it happened. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, we are now in Virginia, taking on those Cavaliers. And we're going to be doing work, as you can see. We're giving the ball to Anderson. When you're on the road, you want to take the air out the football. Just pound that thing. Ground and pound all day long, and then throw it on second and one to Dorsey. Give it to the big tight end. But take the air out the football. Now it's third down and 14. We got into a sticky situation. But we're rolling now. We got the Sean Scott. They clearly did not watch the tape from last week's game versus South Carolina because we're doing the same thing. Now we got Anderson and Anderson doing what? And this is SMU's playbook. I'm feeling it, man. I'm feeling it. I really am feeling it. Can take it right up with the gut, and that is going to be a touchdown for the Prime U Red Hawks. My man Adam Turner takes it up the gut. So they're going to hit us with a play fake. Oh, Neil! One of the best quarterbacks in the ACC is showing you why in Christian camp. If you don't start tackling, we're going to have a problem, son. Hall is going to take it all the way to six. Look at the play fake. Uh. I mean, the boy can run, the boy can pass, the boy can do it all. And then Hall, he gets down too. So here we go. Seven-point game. Give the ball to Anderson. 
can't make nobody miss. Anderson, you got to juke somebody. Second down and nine from the 21. Adam Turner rolling out, stopping and popping. I'm going to find Everett. Freshman to freshman. Now, when it's a hostile territory, freshman to freshman, that's not what you want to do, bro. It's really not because your team is going to struggle, especially if you have a freshman quarterback. So I'm hoping this is the only year that we have to rock with a true freshman at quarterback. I'm just saying, man, it's rough out here in these freshman streets, if you know what I mean. Anyways, man, Turner, he's going to pick up a first down using his legs to give it to Anderson. The guy that's supposed to be running all over the place. And he's jumping for joy. He's ready to share some candy and stuff. So we're up by seven. They're going to get smacked. Look at my man, Thorne. Ooh-wee. Third down and 15 from the 15. Lay it down, son. Lay it down. Second down and 10 from the 48 as we take over. Adam Turner under pressure, but he escapes. He ain't the fastest quarterback I've ever had, but he can get it done using his legs. I like this kid, man. Any kind of chunky reminds me of a quarterback I used to play with back in middle school. Anyways, man, we run the ball, and that's going to be a three-yard loss. Taking the shot up top, Everett, he's going to get all that back plus more. First down for Prime View as we jump to the second quarter. Second down and 10. We get the ball to Anderson, and Anderson gets not as soon. That was first down and 10. Now it's second down and 10. Adam Turner rolling out. Got Sampson, but great play by the Virginia secondary. So it's third down and 10. We're going to go to Dorsey. Oh, Dorsey. Making a man miss, but they said he stepped out of bounds, but he still got the catch inbound. So it's first and goal, Anderson. Take it yourself, big homie. And now we are up 21 to 7. Who we win back to back games, man? I believe for the first time. No, not the first time this season. Is it the first? It might be the first time this season. It is the first time this season. Can we do it? Anyways, man, we're up by 14, but they're going to find. I cannot pronounce his name. I'm not going to try, but he's a beast. He is a beast. He, him. His, his own, he's gone. All I know is that that dude took it to the crib, broke some tackles, and got busy. So, Turner, we're going to take our own shot deep. Young. Oh, to be young, fast, and with the ability to fly. Must be nice. Must be nice. Third down and 10 from the 40. Turner, looking downfield, going to take a shot deep. That's going to be caught and then dropped by Hudson. Come on, bruh. I need you to do what you got to do. So we are forced to punt. Is that a big play or a boo-boo? And usually a boo-boo is a big play. That's a safety. He muffed it. He touched it. It bounced it to the end zone. He recovered it there. That's a no-no. Give us two points, man. So in three straight games, Georgia, then the game versus South Carolina. And now this game has just been a safety. That's crazy. Only on this channel. So make sure you subscribe if you miss it. Anyways, Turner looking downfield. What's he going to do? Yeah. We're still working on his accuracy, but he's just a freshman. Okay, he's just a freshman. Give him some time. Looking downfield again, and that's going to be like a punt as Davis is there for the interception. Now, hopefully our defense can get a stop. Second down and 10. O'Neal rolling on out. And O'Neal going to stop and pop, and that's going to be, yo. Sometimes the foolery, though. Okay, sometimes the foolery. You never know what's going to happen in this game. That's one of the reasons why I love it. Players get suspended. You got a whole bunch of stupid athletes. Oh, it could be a rough. Oh, Neil over the middle. Going to find Hall yet again. And Hall keeps on beasting. Third down and four. Play fake. Oh, Neil looking for a Hall again. And this time he's in the end zone. Christian Kemp. Christian Kemp can ball, man, on both sides of the ball. But sometimes I wish he was just a little bit more shut down. Who's one of my best shutdown corners? It's a dude from ATU. Y'all y'all remember him. He wore number one. You know, we had him playing both ways as well. I forget his freaking name, but that dude, that dude could ball. Look at Christian Kemp, man. That dude from ATU never got beat this much. Christian Kemp gets beat all the freaking time. But it's okay, man. We, it, it's a team game. It's a team, look, look, look at this. Look, look at this. Look, look, look at this, man. Christian Kemp again, giving up touchdowns. Anyways, looking downfield is O'Neal. And that is going to be caught by Allen. And that's going to be a touchdown for the University of Virginia. So, Turner, we got to come back, bro. He's going to roll out. He's going to stop. Pop going to find a Sean Scott. This combination right here is nice. They're having themselves a video today. Turner's going to roll out, and he's going to find Everett. That would have been a very tough catch, but a catch that we needed nonetheless. Then we run the ball. is not a good look. It's not happening for us right now. Turner. Let it spin down. Bill trust every even though he just dropped it. He comes back with the with the clutch reception as he gets it. 
That's what I'm talking about, bruh. I'm gonna say it again. Freshman to freshman. Oh, it's so nice. I had to say it twice. Turner looking down. He's gonna tuck it around. Get, 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 get off of me, he says. So here we go. Third down and three. Anderson. He's slower than slow, but he breaks some tackle. Oh, let's go. If you give me a fast running back, man, I'm talking national championship. First down and go. Then give the ball to Bell. And Bell ain't no fast. Well, he is fast than Anderson, but he did not get into the end zone. So second down and goal. And Turner gets in there. Now, one thing I realized, running from the shotgun formation, and I probably said this in some videos past, the running backs do get a little bit tight. But I do want to change up the playbook from time to time. Probably not gonna use Texas Techs anymore. That's the that, that that's the um playbook I used in the last in the last game with South Carolina. Wasn't that great. But SMU, I'm liking it. Oregon's playbook I like. So any team that passes out of a lot of wide receiver sets, that's the playbooks we're gonna be using for this series. Anyways, we had a fumble recovery, lost the fumble again. It's a whole bunch of foolery. It continues, but we're back in this ball game. Alright, we are up by one defense. Can we please answer? And the answer is no. No, we can't. No, no. First down and 10 from the 42. Out formation. Going with the option. There goes O'Neal's gonna pitch it. Just look at this. We cannot defend the option. Usually I feel like I can trust my defense, but today has been a different story. story. Christian Kemp, I never feel like I can trust you unless it was on the option. And that's sad because you are a cornerback, not a quarterback. But Pitts, he's going to get the carry again. This time he goes nowhere. Let's jump to the fourth quarter of play. To give us to Thompson, my man Thorne. He is all over the place. This linebacker core is pretty nice at times. Like, they flash at times as little Debo gets up in there. But then other times, you don't know where they are at. So they're going to have to set up for a field goal, making it a 32 to, no, yeah, 32 to 30 game. So we are back on offense, down by two. Give it to Anderson, who fumbles my football. Come on, man. We cannot have that. We just can't. So first down and 10 to give us to Pitts. Breaking tackles and he's doing his thing, doing work and getting busy. First and goal from the 10. Looking downfield is O'Neal. That should have been a Yahoo. It's a her, but it wasn't a Yahoo. It's a her. So O'Neal looking downfield. That's going to be caught. And instead of being a Yahoo, it's a her. We turn into some Lahoo's a her. That's like some losers. Anyways, man, we're down by nine, two-score game. We got to get back into this thing. So we can go to the out route. Young makes a wonderful catch, man, doing your thing. I see it. Third down and four. We're going to go to Dorsey, but Dorsey forgot his hands back in Dallas. So it's fourth and four from the 26th. Looking down, feet. And we're going to find the fullback. Oh, baby. That's a first down. I know you were questioning it. I know you was doubting it. I know you are like, yo, Dawkins, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm greatness. Okay, I'm doing greatness. All right, whatever that means, I'm, I'm doing it. And it's greatness. Turner, looking downfield. Okay, that's not greatness, bro. That is not greatness at all. We got a hit as we let it go. We've been throwing a bunch of picks in this video. That's not a good look. And O'Neal is loose. Ford giving chase. He can't catch him. Christian Kemp can. I appreciate you, Christian. I've been dogging you the whole video, but I appreciate that touchdown saving tackle. Very nice play, though. Touchdown, Cavaliers. And that's going to be all she wrote. They were tackling on a two-point conversion and another touchdown off of another interception. But I felt like I put you guys through enough misery that y'all didn't need to see that. Anyways, man, you can see my man Adam turning through three picks, completed this 46% of this passes. We've had better days, but again, he's just a freshman. He's just a freshman. Luke Anderson, you've been fumbling the ball way too much, bruh. Way too much. You got to get that under control. Under control. So, again, for the guys that are still here, I hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all can let me know if you want to see two traded dynasties at one time. Just... To just throw a whole bunch of NCAA 6 at you at one time. Let me know when I'm down, baby. I am down. But like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope the rest of your day is the best of your day. Until we meet again, my friends, peace, love, hot sauce. <laughs>